tonight we have the young men, the millennials, the stars of the Dublin five in a row. These young men are carved from the rock of the Dublin mountains. They've crushed all before them and they are UCD scholarship students. This outstanding alumni community here tonight, our students, our colleagues and our corporate friends, all of you can take us to the next level on business education and executive thinking, not only in Ireland, but across the globe. How do you actually manage your career progress as a player into a team which is already packed with stars? The guys in our group are all very much about the team and there's no individuals within that team. Even if we're fighting for the same position or someone else is, you give them advice to help improve them. It's only going to be for the betterment of the team. We've all achieved a lot, but the greed and the hunger and the ambition to achieve more is just, will always rise to the top. Not all of our scholarship students are stars on the field, but all of our scholarship students are stars. We really appreciate the support that you have given to us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the All-Ireland Champions. It's an enormous privilege to have former Taoiseach Enda Kenny here tonight. He led Fine Gael from 2002 to 2017 and of course he was our Taoiseach from 2011 to 2017. I feel like you might be the perfect guest for the night that we are here for, for many, many reasons. Not least that you steered Ireland through maybe its darkest hour economically. I have said to Michael Noonan, a fiction economy don't hang around too long. Let the young people fly. I have no fear of the future. Climate change or whatever they want. We have a confidence in our young generation that will beat anybody, anybody. Those who have made the breakthrough should always remember that there are those behind them who need to be able to make that breakthrough. And your contribution here is always helpful in that regard. God knows you don't know who you're going to help get across the line and give them the opportunity to fly as you have flown. I can't believe you've got so many people here. Apparently it's doubled since last year. There's a massive buzz. People are so excited and being very Irish about it. But the alumni network is as strong as ever, especially in these days of Brexit. You, know, you want to make sure that your connections are good. And I have to tell you, I'm shouting here because the connections are happening. It's a great event. With 8,500 alumni in the UK, and when I look around the room, including the former teacher, you have many dignitaries of who is who in business. I was lucky enough to be given the Ad Astra Scholarship. It's given out to a few people every year, about 16 or 17. And it's been a great benefit to me because it helps me not only get through the college year without kind of taking on a part-time job, but also it helps me with my college work with uh, academic tutors. Trying to balance football with studies, there's not really much time to fit in a part-time job. The little bit of money I received from UCD took a little bit of pressure off there and allowed me to put my focus towards the sport and also the studies, which then allowed me to thrive in both of those. We started, I think, nine weeks ago. I got a scholarship as well from Smurfit for the, for the GA that I'm playing. It's a massive benefit to me to enable me to keep playing for the college, for the club, for the county. The UCD are pioneering in a new way here in building a future foundation for business, for young Irish people and the connections that they will have globally and particularly in the United Kingdom.